like Drake and Lil Wayne, Jay-Z and Kanye West, Andre 3000 and Big Boy, Eminem and Dr. Dre, Lil Baby and Gunna, or 50 Cent and Ja Rule? Well, maybe not that last part. The rap game has some of the best bromances you can think of, and Lil Durk and King Von's friendship is surely one of the best of them. The pair grew up together and were friends before any of them even picked up a mic. The duo are members of the same gang and have also allegedly committed some crimes together. In this video, we'll share with you the truth about King Von and Dirk's friendship no one talks about. Black Disciples Affiliation Dirk and King Von both grew up on the south side of Chicago. Dirk spent most of his childhood in the notorious Inglewood neighborhood. He grew up without his father as he was sentenced to life imprisonment when Dirk was just two years old. Instead, Dirk and his three siblings, alongside his mom, had to live with his grandmother as they struggled to make ends meet. On the other hand, Vaughn never grew up with his dad either. Vaughn never really got a chance to know his father, and his dad was always in and out of jail, and he was in prison before Vaughn was born. He didn't know his father until he was eight, and his father was shot and killed when he was just 11 years old. While Vaughn took interest in baseball and played in high school, Dirk played basketball. But growing up in the south side of Chicago and without their fathers meant that the two had to start hustling in the streets and they never got to chase what might have been a successful career in the NBA or the MLB. Instead, growing up in these neighborhoods made both rappers get involved in a life of crime and street violence at a very young age. Various sources state that both men became members of the Black Disciple Street Gang while they were in high school. Both men were already having run-ins with the law while in school, and Dirk eventually dropped out of school at the age of 17 after he became a father. Vaughn spent most of his teenage years locked up for numerous crimes he committed. Many fans believe that Vaughn and Dirk committed these crimes because they were members of the Black Disciples gang. The Black Disciples are a large street gang which was formed over 50 years ago and they're based in Chicago. The gang was formed by David Barksdale, who is also rumored to be Vaughn's grandfather. The gang is known for criminal activities such as arms trafficking, extortion, racketeering, kidnapping, money laundering, theft, illegal gambling, etc. The gang is dominant in the south side of Chicago and various reports state that many of its members are responsible for the increase in crime in the area. After Vaughn was acquitted of a murder charge in 2014, he returned from prison and saw that some of his friends such as Chief Keef, Lil Durk, G Herbo had become rap stars. He began rapping and he collaborated with Lil Durk on some of his singles. Durk always had interest in Vaughn's music and he was eventually signed by Lil Durk to his Only The Family label in 2018. The Voice and the Grandson After Vaughn was signing Lil Durk's Only The Family label, the pair had a good run making music together. The duo collaborated on the remix of King Vaughn's hit song, Crazy Story. The song peaked at number 4 on the Billboard 200. The pair also released other songs such as Like That, Twin Them, Down Me, Evil Twin, and according to various rumors, the duo were also planning to release an album together. However, the unfortunate death of King Von in 2020 ruined these plans. Von died at the age of 26, and before his death, he had only released two mixtapes and one album before his untimely death. His debut mixtape, Grandson Volume 1, debuted at number 75 on the Billboard 200, while his 16-track mixtape, LeVon James, peaked at number 40 on the Billboard 200. Vaughn released his debut studio album, Welcome to O Block, in October. The album peaked at number 4 on the Billboard 200. On the other hand, ever since he broke out in 2013, Lil Durk hasn't looked back. The Chicago rapper is the CEO of the Only The Family label, and he has had six studio albums such as Signs to the Streets, The Voice, Lil Durk 2X, etc., alongside 12 mixtapes and one collaborative mixtape titled The Voice of the Heroes with Atlanta rapper Lil Baby. Apart from making good music together, Dirk and Vaughn's relationship goes beyond the rap game. The duo have also been arrested for robbery and attempted murder today. Now, you're probably wondering why two successful rappers who have made so much money together be involved in a robbery case. But before we reveal more information about the robbery case, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Rap Central to watch more videos like this one. Dirk and Vaughn's Robbery Case Video evidence on February 5th, 2019 showed Lil Durk and King Von firing a weapon at a victim outside the Varsity restaurant in Atlanta. Authorities claim that Von, Dirk, and the victim, Alexander Weatherspoon, were seen together in a parking lot before an altercation ensued. Surveillance video showed Dirk shooting at Weatherspoon from his car, while Von was seen on foot, running and firing shots at the victim, who ran a short distance before he collapsed. The rappers allegedly didn't only shoot at Weatherspoon, but also robbed him of his chain, his car, and $30,000 cash. 
apart from Vaughn and Dirk, two other OTF members were also arrested in connection with the shooting. Rappers OTF Bezu and AAB Hella Bands were also arrested in connection with the shooting. After the shooting and his warrant had been issued, Dirk released the song Turn Myself In on May 30th, 2019, before doing just exactly that as he turned himself in in a few hours after he dropped the song. On the song, Dirk rapped, look up at the judge, can't look, stay making up lies for sure, I'm an innocent man for sure, it is what it is for sure. The duo appeared before a judge in the Fulton County courtroom for a probable cause hearing. The judge ruled that the court had found probable cause to charge Dirk and Vaughn with multiple felony charges, which include criminal attempt to commit murder, aggravated assault, association with the criminal street gang to conduct other participation in crime, possession of a firearm during commission of a felony, and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. The Chicago rappers were kept behind Fulton County bars without bond for several weeks. After the hearing began, prosecutors presented video evidence which they claimed showed Lil Dirk's hand shooting from a car. But with the video only showing a hand and not a face, the rapper's lawyer pointed out that the video didn't confirm that it was Dirk who shot the gun and even allegedly categorized the evidence as flimsy. An unnamed witness also claimed that she was speaking to Vaughn and Dirk when the shots were heard and it was at this moment that Dirk pulled out his gun in self-defense rather than to rob Weatherspoon. The Windy City rappers were eventually released on bonds with Dirk having to give up $250,000 worth of his assets and Vaughn having to give up $300,000 of his assets as well. Prosecutors also claim that 18 rounds were fired and shells were collected from a rifle and pistols. The victim, Alexander Weatherspoon, also had a semi-automatic pistol during the struggle and only dropped it while trying to run away. He was rushed to the hospital with a gunshot wound to his thigh. Fans are speculating that this shooting might just be as a result of gang violence. Some fans believe that Weatherspoon was a member of the Vice Lords and an associate of the Gangster Disciples, and this probably explains Dirk and Vaughn's motive for the alleged shooting. Chirac War, a war between two disciples. Fans believe that Weatherspoon, being a member of the Gangster Disciples, might be the reason why Dirk and Vaughn allegedly shot him because of the war between the Black Disciples and the Gangster Disciples. The war between the two Chicago street gangs began in 2011 and has led to various killings and the rappers who belong to these two gangs have even rapped about it in their songs. For more information about these lyrics, you can watch our video, Chirac's Real Lyrics That Actually Happened. The war began after the death of Gregory Shondell, who was popularly known as Tuca. 15-year-old Tuca was a member of the Gangsta Disciples, and he was shot by a mass shooter at the bus stop. And in honor of Tuca, the gang named the 63rd Street of Martin Luther King Drive, Tucaville. After the death of Tuca, fans believe that the Gangsta Disciples retaliated by killing Black Disciples member Odie Perry in August 2011. Perry was reportedly killed on the 400 block of E64th Street. After his death, members of the Black Disciples renamed the Parkway Gardens Low Income Apartment as O Block in honor of Perry. After the death of Perry and Tuca, what started as retaliation killings became a full-blown war with victims on both sides. Between 2011 and 2014, O Block witnessed more killings than any other block in all of Chicago. Tuca's brother, Lil Mark, was also killed as he stood near a bus stop in March 2014 and the death of Tuca has allegedly been mocked and rapped about by both Lil Durk and King Von. But fans believe that the rappers have not only rapped about it, the duo might have also been involved in this killing. Fans believe that Lil Durk might have been one of the rappers who ordered the killing of Lil Jojo. After Durk released the song L Anthem, on which he dissed Lil Jojo's gang set by rapping, Brick Squad, I say f him, Wooga World with him, so f him. Jojo responded with the song BDK, and on the song, he called out a large majority of Black Disciples members, most especially Lil Durk, Chief Keef, and Lil Reese. After the diss song was released, Jojo was shot and killed on September 5th, 2012. Many fans believe that Durk might have played a role in the death by ordering his killing. Apart from ordering the killing of a rival gang member, Bomb might have allegedly gotten the job done by himself, not once, but twice, after shooting a man named Malcolm Stuckey at an Inglewood party in 2014, King Von spent three and a half years in jail while awaiting trial. Von was charged with murdering Stucky and injuring two other people. Von's friend, Michael Wade, was present at the time of the shooting and is reported to have fired about 15 bullets. Wade was later sentenced to 28 years in prison, while Von was cleared of all charges and released. In July 2021, the Chicago Police Department released documents revealing that King Von fatally shot another Gangsta Disciples member named Jakira K.I. Barnes in 2014. Barnes was 17 years old at the time of her death, and she had also bragged about catching 17 bodies. K.I. was allegedly responsible for several murders of Black Disciples member, and on his song War With Us, Von rapped, put a pretty op in the morgue, call that bitch drop dead gorgeous. On this bar, 
Vaughn was rapping about the killing of his rival gang member, K.I. Barnes. Well, that's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're new to the channel to be notified when we upload new content.